John submitted a question asking how many keys do we give each uh, to give a tenant? Um, I love that question. <laughs> it, is, it is a great question. Um, and I give, gave it, uh, for my property management company, I give it more thought than you would probably think. Uh, so we give one key per bedroom. Um, keys are not free to make, uh, but they're obviously not ridiculously expensive. And so we would just never give just one key and expect the tenant to go and make copies of the key. Um, you know, A, it's an impression. So we actually want to create boundaries and kind of create future pace to tenant and give the tenant certain impressions of who they're dealing with and giving them one key per bedroom in a nice uh, little package, a, you know, presentable envelope kind of shows them that we're a professional thought out. Um, it's a subtle way of letting them know that we're a professional organization in the you know, then they'll engage with us in that way. Uh, it's important to put your best, most professional foot forward. And then that's kind of responses and interactions you're going to get from the tenant going forward. So the tenant is always going to kind of see you as a professional organization. They're not going to question your, your motives. They're not going to question the things you do. They're not going to question the repairs process that you're going through. When you tell them things, they'll have a tendency to kind of trust it a little bit more just because you're showing them your professional organization. Um, I would never cheap out on, you know, try to save eight bucks on, you know, a copy of a key. Uh, you know, also, I mean, obviously, if there's you know, a three bedroom unit, we're giving them three keys. I mean, giving them two keys would be a little bit goofy. The sidebar thing is we actually always like to have some kind of formula so we can, when the tenant moves out, we want to charge them if we if all the keys are not returned. Um, and that's a little hard to track. Like, how many keys did we give the tenant? Well, if you have a system uh, in place, and this is a very very easy system for us, uh, you know, well, I know how many keys we gave you because it is a three bedroom house. So we know automatically that we had given the tenants three sets of keys. So when the tenant moves out and there's only one set of keys, for some reason, nobody ever wants to return the keys. I think it's an object and people just don't like to give it up. Um, owners, property owners don't want to give us keys when we're taking over the management of the property. Tenants don't want to give us up the keys. I never quite understand why, but I think it's a possession and nobody wants to give that, that object up. But I mean, then we have to go make copies for the next set of tenants and it's not fair. And who should, you know, who should hold that burden of expense? Should the property owner, the landlord of the property hold that expense of getting the keys made? Uh, and then of course, uh, the, you know, us as a property management company, we actually, it is cumbersome making key copies. I mean, we have to get the key. We have to then go somewhere to make copies of the key. And then we have to get the keys all the way back to the, to the property. Uh, and somebody's going to have to pay for that and, or, you know, bear the burden of the expense or the expense of time. Uh, and again, if we give the tenant a set amount of keys, three keys, we expect to get three keys back. Uh, so yes, I would recommend, uh, giving one key per bedroom. And also I think it's, uh, as I said, beneficial, just, it's easier to track how many keys you give the tenant. All right. As usual, happy rental property investing.